Howdy folks, it's Sunday, March 10, 2019. I'm in our closet. Uh, I think it's probably eight feet by uh, about 11. Um, so today I'm, I started working on it, I think on Friday. Uh, Yesterday, Saturday, I didn't do anything down here because uh, we were we went to the Minneapolis Auto Show uh, because our Yukon died with 377,000 miles on it. We were looking for a new car. Uh, we started out thinking we wanted an Acadia Denali, a GMC car. And um, it's the little sister to the Yukon. But uh, as we started looking more and more, I think Linda's uh, more convinced that the Ford Explorer is the car she'd like to have. So and since she's the one that'll be driving it, um, we'll end up with whatever she wants. Uh, so I didn't do anything yesterday. And I have to say this morning when I woke up, my shoulder didn't hurt as much as it has in the last week, um, which is good. So. Back to building rather than personal problems. Uh, this will be our closet. Right now I'm thinking, just because I like doing woodworking, I'm thinking we'll build some cabinetry in here. Uh, the ceilings are nine feet. Uh, I can envision uh, probably some drawers here in the middle. Um, either side uh, we would have um, a lower bar and maybe an upper bar to hang. Uh, upper bar for my stuff, lower bar for Linda. Over on this side, uh, maybe a little spot for longer things like um, bathrobes or uh, prom dress. Assuming we ever go to the prom, senior prom, you know. Um, anyways... Uh, I can envision on this wall, which if we had a window here, it would be looking out at the lake. I can envision some kind of cabinetry with cubby holes uh, to store uh, like sweaters. Um, you know, Linda has, like some people do, uh, quite a few pairs of different shoes, probably some that she doesn't wear too often and some that are just plain old wore out. I can envision something here that's sort of that way, you know, at an angle. Um, you know, I know I have probably five pairs of shoes. Um, and right now I have them scattered throughout the house. So um, I'm, I'm envisioning some cabinetry in this room. Uh, but who knows when we're done, maybe we'll just end up with uh, a couple of shelves and some poles, which is what we have on our West Bald Eagle Boulevard um, closet. Uh, so I talked about the uh, shower pans. This is a shower pan. Um, that's concrete. So there was one layer of quick crete poured down. That's our drain. Uh, and then uh, after the, well, and then he had put this go board, it's called. It's very similar to the Dura Rock that I we had used on the walls. And I'll put the Dura Rock on top of this. Uh, so we put that go board down, and then last Wednesday, I think it was, he came back and he put this curb in, you know, to keep the water inside the shower. And then he put this last topping of um, cement on it. Um, I'm not going to step in there because it still looks like it's drying. But in this, we're going to have sort of a uh, hers and a his. Uh, you can see that his is a little bit higher. And we have shower heads on that wall. And we also have them on this wall. 
So in this shower, we'll have four sets of shower heads, four faucets. Um, this is our master bath, of course. Um, we'll have a vanity that goes across here. Linda's got to design that. It'll have two sinks. You can see there's the room for the two sinks. Um, so she also wanted barn doors here. So we're going to have a, a trolley across the top and then a door that will just slide on that on the outside of this wall. And for the bathroom, we'll do the same thing. We'll have a trolley up there and it'll slide this way, which essentially makes this outlet useless because if the door is sliding this way, chances are it would hit whatever's in that outlet. Uh, and so over there in that corner, you can see a couple of packaging and that's for the uh, trolley system on it. Um, you know, that's Linda's laundry room. She did the, or her and, actually Pete did the uh, tiling and her and Pete did the grouting uh, and we're just storing a bunch of stuff in here. You know, Linda always liked that um, O2 Yukon that uh, retired this week. And our son, Josh, is an artist, and uh, he had drawn a picture of it for her some time ago, uh, I guess back in 17. Uh, but she always loved that car. Uh, yeah, so, um, and took a little bit of convincing for her not to uh, put another Four hundred dollars in it this week. Um, you know, we were talking the other day, and Linda probably has fifty cookbooks. She's quite the cook, and uh, we were talking where she'd put those. And I think what we're going to do is rather than have them out in some shelving here, we might have some of the lesser used ones on the very top. Uh, cabinet, I envision a three-tiered cabinet. Uh, and then in here, I, I said to her, you know, we could put the cookbooks. This is that utility closet right off of the hall and across from the bathroom. I said we could put those cookbooks, you know, maybe on whatever number of shelves so, so that we could then still put a vacuum cleaner underneath it and the like. So we'll see. But uh, that's probably one of the things that goes in here. Over on this side, we'll have some shelving. And that will be tablecloths, because she's probably got eight or ten uh, nice tablecloths. Um, she buys them at the fair. And they're apparently made in Paris or something. So we'll probably do that here, as well as towels for that bathroom. Um, and the like. So this will get quite a bit of use. This morning she came through and she put in red rosin paper which goes down over the plywood floor. She did it in that utility closet, this hall, the pantry. She also did it in bedroom number three which we've referred to as her mother's bedroom. Um, so she did that this morning. Now she's off she took the Golden Girls back home. Then she'll go to the grocery store and buy food for tonight's feast. And Erin got to pick tonight what we're going to eat. And she wanted sandwiches. Make your own sandwich. And Linda is supplementing it with some homemade chili, which is really good. Um... So that's about it. Um, you know, obviously we've got this all done. We have to sand it. Like I said, I think it'll take us five to seven days to get all of this place sanded. And then another four at least to get the floors varnished because we want to put four coats on it. So that's it. Thanks for following the progress. Uh, we're getting closer, but not done yet. There's three fans. 
that'll uh, you know go up in the bedrooms and out here so um, looking forward to getting all of this stuff up thanks for following the progress